Five seconds. Three, two, one. Cue Dave. Last week we had a hurricane, but this week we have a snowstorm on the way. I am David Witt, and we're for a look at all the details, but first take a look at the latest temperatures. And currently, we are around 40 degrees at this hour for a temperature about 41 degrees. But notice how the cloud cover is really starting to increase as the low pressure to our south is starting to move on north. We'll take a look at the latest watches and warnings, and we have a lot to talk about. In effect, from 6 a.m. this morning to 6 a.m. tomorrow, we have winter weather advisories north and west of the city with winter storm warnings in effect from the city and surrounding areas to the south. We also have wind advisories that are in effect north and west of the city with high wind uh, warnings in effect along the coastal areas. We'll take a look at the latest radar and you can see that we have some heavy rain beginning to push northward at this hour. And I mean, just look at this. This is enormous. And what's going to happen is as this rain pushes northward into our region, Right now, surface temperatures are around 40 degrees, as I pointed out, so the precipitation will start as rain. But once that intensity picks up, that will allow for the cold air aloft to be brought down to the surface, and as a result, that will allow for the surface temperatures to come down, and we will see a changeover from rain to snow as we head through this afternoon. Now, we'll take a look at the latest surface map so you can see the uh, storm set up. And here's that area of low pressure developing off the Carolina coast at this hour, pushing northward as we have high pressure in control to our north. But we'll take a look at the future cast. And as we head through this afternoon and into this evening, you, you notice over our region that the rain changes over to snow, as I pointed out before. But also notice the uh, area of low pressure that was out in the Ohio Valley combines with the low pressure off the coast. And that's going to allow for the area of low pressure to intensify rapidly as the pressure will drop 20 millibars down to 980 millibars. Now, we'll take a look at your seven-day forecast, and today expect rain changing over to snow with a high of 38 and a low of 31. Thursday, expect flurries in the morning with a high of 45 and a low of 34. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 36. Saturday will also be mostly sunny with a high of 54 and a low of 39. Sunday, expect increasing clouds with a high of 58 and a low of 42. Monday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 48. And Tuesday, expect showers with another cold front with a high of 62 and a low of 41. Now, as far as the timeline, between 10 this morning uh, to about 1 in the afternoon, I'm expecting some rain showers to begin to move into our area. But between 1 and 4 this afternoon, not in the morning, that's when I'm expecting the rain to increase and change over to snow. And by 4 in the afternoon to 2 a.m., that is when I'm expecting the period of some very heavy snow, about a 10-hour period, where I'm expecting accumulating snow, mainly on the grassy surfaces. But I do think as temperatures fall below the freezing mark, we could see some accumulation on secondary roads and pavements. And between 4 in the morning and 7 in the morning, this is when I'm expecting the snow to begin to taper off, as we'll have some few snow showers left over with some flurries remaining into the morning. Now, as far as the storm impacts and what I'm expecting, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds can be expected. I and mean, those are sustained winds, but gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour will be possible, which is why we are under a wind advisory. And between the wind and the snow and the leaves that are on the trees, that could cause some additional branches to come down. But I do not think this will be anything like Hurricane Sandy, but a few scattered power outages will be possible if a few branches do come down. And I'm also expecting a slow evening commute this evening as that snow will really pick up. And I'm also expecting a slow morning commute since many of the roads will probably be slickery. And also, and uh, we'll take a look at my Twitter and make sure, oh, actually, wait, we have the snowfall map. How could I forget? Our first and ever snowfall map. And as far as what I'm expecting, anywhere between three to six inches of snow from the city on northward up into the suburbs and Lehigh Valley can be expected with a code in the three south of the city up into central parts of New Jersey with one to two inches of rain along the coastal areas with a trace of snow being possible. Now we'll take a look at my Twitter and make sure to follow me at WXWitten if you haven't already as I will be keeping you updated with the latest information throughout the storm with my storm coverage. That is all for today. For iBlock News, I'm Dave Wynn. Have a great day.